What's up guys? Today I'm with Caleb, Anthony, and Spencer, and we're doing men's baseball, and this is Maverick Post Game. Alright guys, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you guys coming on the show. Uh, let's just go down the list, say your name, say your position, say what year you are on the team. So what's going on guys? My name is Caleb Farmer, I'm a junior third baseman here. Uh, what's up? I'm Anthony Urbano. I'm a pitcher and I'm a junior. I'm Spencer Bramwell and I'm a junior catcher. Awesome. Thank you guys. So just hopping right in, let's address the big thing that's going on right now. COVID-19 has obviously affected the season as a whole, how you guys are practicing, how you guys are playing. Kind of what have you done as a team to kind of prepare for this COVID riddled season? I mean, first off, mask up everywhere. I mean, around like our families when we're at the field, like we don't really have to do that stuff. But like every time we're in the classroom or in a building, like we got to mask up. I mean, pretty much follow all the protocols as well. Stay six feet apart and stuff like that. That's perfect, that's perfect. Fine, like uh, do you think that it. your coaches have kind of put it's together this culture that kind of breeds positivity and productivity and winning? Because here at Mesa, you guys are have been very, very successful. You have won a couple, a couple of titles here. Um, have any of you guys been a part of those championships? Uh, I just transferred last year. I haven't been a part of any of them. But uh, I mean, the moment I got here, I knew this culture was unreal. Uh, the coaching staff, they've all been here many years. and. I think they really do got a great job of bringing guys in that want to win and want to compete, and uh, it's a fun place to be around. You talk about coming here, deciding to come to Mesa. Have you always known that you wanted to play baseball in college? I mean, I think for all three of us from a pretty young age, it was very apparent that we wanted to play and take it as far as we could. Uh, all of us getting the opportunity to play at Mesa, it was really surreal because, again, a winning culture, chance to compete on the national level every year, so it made the decision really easy. So let's say that I am a transfer student or I'm a freshman coming in and you know I want to be a part of this winning culture. What do I have to do to kind of find out more about you guys? Uh, definitely email the coaches and if you can try to get their phone number and call them constantly. They are busy, but like I mean, once I mean once you get their number and get them on the phone, like just say everything you can about yourself. Like try to sell yourself, try to make you sound like you're the best person ever. And then what is like a typical practice for you guys look like? Uh, depending on the day, you know we have we have a good good practice schedule that comes out with pitchers have drills and then we go usually into some bunt D's or some sort of first and third always have team defense rolling and then you know batting practice for these hitters takes good good portion of the practice but uh it's good to be around it's fun and then is there some sort of tournament or season that you guys are kind of preparing for right now that you're expected to go kind of dominated um i mean we start february 25th we open up here on a friday night um I mean, we're just preparing for that. Take it a weekend at a time, get ready to go, have everybody healthy. Um, the main thing is we want to make a postseason run, so we got to make sure we handle the little things early and be able to build throughout the season. What is the one thing that your coach preaches to you guys as a team? I'd say doing the little things right. If we handle those things, we're going to win a lot of ball games. we got a talented club, so being able to do the little things right will carry us throughout the season. That's yes, right. Well said. Well, thank you guys again for hopping on the interview and we're going to go hop into our Maverick Post game of the week. So, what game are we going to be playing this week? Uh, two ball. So you're going to get two baseballs. And basically the game starts where you take them, you get in a circle like this, and you're going to throw them, and you can only catch the ball with one hand, and you're going to toss it to somebody else, and then if that person drops it, they're out, and you start over, and it's pretty easy. All right, perfect. Let's get into it.
All right, I want to thank Mets Baseball again for coming here today on Mario Coast. I really appreciate you guys all coming out here and having fun with us. And good luck to you guys next season. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we'll see you guys next week on Mario Coast game. All right, <laughs> guys, that's a wrap.